Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today, I just want to share one more. There's one more testimony that I just remembered that I need to share. And it also was while I was in Leavenworth Prison. What do you know? I was only there three and a half years. I know it's probably hard to follow my story, but I had the beard. Uh, I got saved in 2004. Then I started growing that beard in around 2006. Then I shaved that beard and went to, uh, in like 2011. And then I went to prison in 2014. Maybe I shaved in like, anyways, it doesn't matter. So what's important is I was in prison in Leavenworth. And so I had been dating this girl and, um, I guess if I backtrack, remember, you know, the first girl, the first time I prayed, uh, and cried out to the Lord in 2004, I was with this girl and she ended up dating my best friend. And, um, you know, and I tried to get her back and I was heartbroken over her. But I remember one time specifically, I had written her a letter and, um, and, and then I wrote the letter and I mailed it, but then I ended up getting the letter back and I had accidentally written one of the address numbers wrong or something. And then, and the letter came back to me. So then I tore that letter up and I rewrote a new letter and then I sent this letter. Anyways, made a fool out of myself, by the way, but it doesn't matter. So, so I mailed this other letter and then I, uh, so then now I'm in prison and I'm with this girl and I had turned to the Lord and I knew that she wasn't probably the, the girl that I should be with. You know, I, I, I honestly had prayed at one point, like, Lord, please, you know, harden her heart towards me because I knew that she probably would just keep staying with me, you know, or, or whatever, because I, um, anyway, so I, I, but I knew she, she wasn't really a believer, you know, and I knew that I had to be with a, a woman that was a believer. But anyway, so I was having a hard time of letting this relationship go. I had heard you know, once again, I'm in prison and I hear this girl is, is talking to one of my friends. What do you know? Deja vu, right? So, so anyways, and then she won't ever admit to it. But, um, so, so I, I got to this point where, um, I decided to like, I, I wrote her a letter, right? And, um, I wrote her this letter and, and then I was also going through this moment. I had this moment where, I had like, I was going to fast until like I heard from her or, or things got restored. Um, and then I had this breaking moment where like, I was just like on the job, uh, I was working in like the paint shop or something like that. At this point, I wasn't doing the cleaning anymore, but, um, and I, and I just broke down and I'm like, Lord, I don't believe, I don't want to fast for this girl, blah, blah, blah. But I, I had this breaking down moment where I realized I didn't believe for that or, or, you know, I, I wasn't going to try and, uh, force God's hand again through some fasting and for over a girl, you know what I mean? So, so anyways, I wrote her this letter. It was a heartfelt letter, you know, just talking about whatever, how I felt. And, um, and so I wrote the letter and then I got mail call and, oh, actually no. Um, uh, and I woke up one morning and after I had mailed this letter out and I'm, and I'm, I woke up and I heard in my mind, your world's not falling apart. It's falling into place. And I go to the chapel and I'm like talking to this guy, Chris. And I'm like, Hey, Chris, have you ever heard your world's not falling apart? It's falling into place. Like, I know it's not a scripture, but I know, like, I've heard it. Like I heard it. And I'm like, this isn't a scripture. Why is this in my head? And then he was like, oh, that's casting crowns just be held. And I didn't even realize it at the time. I realized it later. Like it was a miracle that he knew exactly what song it was at that time. So anyways, and I don't think I had ever even heard the song. I don't know how I would have heard the song. Um, so, which was another like miraculous thing because I never heard the song. The, the chorus was in my mind. And I, so then when I went and I downloaded this song on an mp3 player because we could do that in prison i had an mp3 player and i purchased this song i looked it up and i downloaded it and when i listened to that song it was just talking about 
letting go of control but i remember like your world's not falling apart it's falling into place so fast forward a couple days go by and i get a mail call and i go to get the mail and i'm thinking you know because i don't get very much mail i'm assuming it's probably a letter from her or maybe i was anticipating a return letter from her and they i get the letter and it and it's a letter from her and um i get up to like my uh cell or whatever I don't remember if I, where if I was, but anyways, I get up to my cell and I didn't realize that it wasn't a letter from her. It was the same letter that I had written that got returned because I had written the wrong address on it. So almost the exact same thing that had happened 10 years previous. So, and I'm, I would just want you to say this because it's just a, when I really understood God's sovereignty in my life and how his hand had been in my life. But anyway, so I open this letter and I start to read it. And I had written in there, I feel like my world is falling apart. And it just blew my mind. I was like, wait a minute. Like I wrote in there, I feel like my world is falling apart. And then, but just a few days previous, I had woken up to your world's not falling apart. It's falling into place. And then when I saw that in the letter, I realized that the Lord had watched me write that letter, knew that I'd written it, put this song in my head was like, and then preparing me for this moment, like your world's not falling apart, it's falling into place. This is all by design. You know what I mean? And I remembered how that I had written that letter to that girl 10 years before, and I shouldn't have written her that letter. I should have just let that relationship go. It was like, it was pointless. I wasted so much time and heartache over that, over that relationship. I should have just let that go, but I didn't. And then I realized that, God was telling me to let go of this relationship and my world wasn't falling apart. It was falling into place. And I ripped that letter up and I never tried to contact that girl again. And I just let it go and I've never seen her again. And, and I'm just thankful, you know, now obviously I met my wife and everything's amazing. But in that moment, like, like the sovereign hand of God, like to make that happen, to teach me through that first relationship, to let go of this second relationship 10 years later through like the same exact situation with mailing the letter it getting returned and then mailing the letter and getting returned i mean like there's no way to explain that and then that that song casting crowns in my mind your world's not falling apart it's falling into place so yeah amen God is in control and he knows every detail of your life like in order to just teach you something. I had just totally experienced that and a lot of people probably don't understand that but I do and I know God's hand has been in my life for a very long time. Amen.